Hello, uh, my, my name is Matthew, and I'm sorry to say that there will be no story time with Winnie the Pooh tonight. I was cautioned that um, I, I, my little channel might get in trouble uh, with copyright issues, which is something that I hadn't considered, uh, which maybe is irresponsible on my part. In any event, uh, I thought that I would write a story of my own, and I spent nearly the whole day um, working on uh, writing a story. Uh, I'm not going to read exactly what I wrote, um, because it's just a first draft. Instead, um, I will tell you about it. I will tell you the, the, the story that I'm trying to write. And um, I'll welcome any feedback that I get. Um, and it's the story of uh, Breakfast Time with Andy and Daphne. And if maybe you're not familiar, Andy and Daphne are my two Maine Coon cats. Um, both of them are um, big and beautiful. Andy is uh, a, a big, happy, cheerful boy. Uh, he loves he loves company and he loves to entertain. Um, Daphne, on the other hand, uh, much prefers a quiet household. Um, she likes to sit and look dignified and clean herself in a very refined manner. And there's something very special when she does warm up to you. And for being cats, they still manage to keep a very strict schedule. And before the rooster crows, before the sun rises, and before even I'm awake, usually maybe five o'clock in the morning, the cats are ready for breakfast time. And anyone that has that has pets knows that when your cats, or, or dogs, I'll say cats, when your cats talk to you, it's as clear as English. Um, when Andy or Daphne um, meows or barks or vocalizes in their way, um, I can hear them, I, I know what they're saying. And I, that's not an exaggeration. So every morning I am awakened the same way. And it's Andy and Daphne either on top of me or at my bedside. And Andy's saying, wake up, wake up. And Daphne says, it's breakfast time, it's breakfast time. And even if I say, just just five more minutes, I can, I can hear Andy saying, I've already been starving for five minutes. And I go, okay, I'm, I'm up, I'm up now. Let me just get my pants on. And I can even hear Daphne saying, always with the pants. And I'll get out of bed and I can hear them nearly quoting T.S. Eliot and saying, hurry up now, it's time. Hurry up now, it's time. Mocking me in a way. And when I come down into the kitchen, both of them are excited and nearly parading, and they run in circles, just so happy. It's, it's going to be breakfast time. And there's lots of activity in the kitchen. Uh, bowls need to be pulled out, their can needs to be taken out. What sort of breakfast are we gonna be having? This morning we had wild salmon and the crack of that little wet can um, just throws a jolt of excitement through the whole house. And they're both ready and waiting and happy and impatient. I get the wet food out and I put it in their little bowls. Um, and when I place them down, 
Andy is always normally just about finished. He gobble he will gobble it up as fast as he can. And Daphne is much more of a lady and politely and with measure eats her food. At this time, I'm still uh, actively attending to the cats. Uh, my next move is often the litter boxes. They have two. They have a his and a hers. And this morning, I was left with two surprises. And I always either sing a little song or just make stir excitement to let them know how happy I am with them. And I'll say, Andy, you pooped, you pooped, what a good boy, what a good boy. And Daphne, you pooped, you pooped, what a good girl, what a good girl. I do that every morning nearly. And I get my little bag out and I scoop everything up and make sure it's clean. At this point, Andy and Daphne are both licking their chops. And I refill the dry food and I clean out the water bowl and refresh it put in ice cold fresh water for them and now it's playtime and there's something very special about having playtime with two very large cats in a tiny house that's on wheels the whole house rocks and the cats manage to nearly climb up the walls and bounce around in just a flurry of excitement. <clears throat> By the time I'm done all of my chores, they are nearly settling down again. This morning was a little special because we're at the beginning of spring and I looked out the window and you could see the warmth in the air. So I flung open the windows and you could hear the birds. The birds are back from their winter holiday. Cheerful. And they're all out there chirping with their big bird chorus. All of them sounding off and they're saying, I'm here, I'm here, it's me, it's me. I'm here too, it's me, I'm here. Just exclaiming their existences, letting them all know I'm here. My rooster, meanwhile, is always the late riser. Eventually, he partaked as well and crowed, I'm a rooster, I'm a rooster. And I was at the window, enjoying and appreciating this. <clears throat> and I was calling out to Andy and Daphne. And I said, come here, look, the birds are back. And I could hear Andy saying, please, we're trying to get some sleep. So, it's a workable story. Um, if I can p polish it up and make it into anything presentable, um, I assure you, um, you'll be the first to know. Um, let me know if this is um, enjoyable or entertaining uh, or uncalled for. Um, any sort of comment or criticism um, is always welcome. So thank you, and um, I hope everyone's doing well, and um, t take care. <clears throat>